What does $200 an hour look like? If we're talking full work week, $200 an hour come out to about $32,000 a month, almost $400,000 a year. You're in the top 2% with that type of bread. So why are you broke? A photo shoot easily earns $200 and takes about an hour. You're already making $200 an hour, right? So why isn't the math on your side? Why aren't you balling out of control right now? What's good? I'm Ty from Flash Film Academy, a community about growing your photography and videography business. Today, we're talking about four factors that separate the professionals from the kids. Damn! Price tag, work hours, billable hours, and non-billable hours. You cannot make a living with your camera without a solid understanding of these topics. So let's get started. We're starting out with the most obvious thing that influences how much you're making, and that's how much you're charging. It's a bigger decision than you realize. Set your prices sky high and the payout is sweet if you get the client. How often would those clients actually come knocking? On the flip side, if you undervalue yourself and charge too little, you will be rolling in clients, but your bank account would be on E. I didn't been there and done that before. So let's talk balance. I got this buddy right now, not in the film industry, but this applies across the board. This guy launched a product and slapped a $99 price tag on it. Now people were interested, but they weren't parting with their cash as quickly as he'd hoped. So he thought, let's make it affordable. Dropped it to $20 and boom, sales exploded. He was raking it in, not because of the price though, but because it was a sweet spot. But then he went even lower and tried a $10 price tag. What do we get for $10? Sales did pick up, but they didn't double, which is what he needed to justify the price drop. He was actually making less. So what's the takeaway? You got to shuffle it around to try to find different numbers and see where the best balance is. Well, How much? $15? Somewhere between too pricey and too cheap is where it's at. $15, too buku. This is why I like beta clients. They help you find the sweet spot before going to market. The second thing we're getting into is your dedicated work hours. How much time are you working and how much time are you spending sitting on the couch playing Xbox? The only people who get rich sitting on their asses are the people who started rich to begin with. Like myself, you gotta hustle to build something from nothing. How many hours do you work a week on your business? Do you have a definitive number or is it just a, it depends on the workload? Let's break down the format. Let's talk about number three, billable hours and non-billable hours. They go together. So your first task is to pick how many hours you're working on your business. 40 hours for full-time or 20 hours for part-time. Give yourself a schedule and actually sit down and spend every hour working on your business, regardless of if you have clients or not. I spent a lot of time in stage three, AKA module three, teaching you how to build this schedule. You should be spending all of your time working on getting clients. Send emails, knock on doors, make phone calls. If you're not filling up your time hustling, then you can't blame nobody but yourself when you fail. You have to put in the work. That's how it works. Every hour spent behind the camera or editing a photo is a billable hour. And every hour you spend doing marketing or branding or client hunting is a non-billable hour. After you filled up all of your work hours, the goal of the game is to turn as many of those non-billable hours into billable hours. Breaking it down like this lets you see things the way outsiders do. You can analyze what's costing you time and energy. The real challenge is understanding the balance between billable and non-billable hours. If you're spending 40 hours a week working, but only 10 of those hours are billable, you may want to reassess your approach. Maybe you need more effective marketing strategy. Think about it. Every single client that comes to you is less time you're spending marketing yourself. You're not just landing the gig, you're landing the gig without spending the energy having to hunt for work. You've directly converted non-billable hours into billable hours. Keep it up and 80% of your time will be spent making cash. So let's wrap this up. $200 an hour isn't really $200 an hour until you filled your work hours and then replace those non-billable hours with billable hours. It's not hard to figure this stuff out. This is the mindset you need to adapt to to really start to profit with your camera. And most importantly, keep hustling. There are shortcuts in the game, but you still have to do the legwork yourself. 
Dedication, continuous learning, and a keen understanding of your worth are the keys to success. So pick up that camera, understand your worth, and make every moment count. If you're a gold member, you'll get access to part two of this video, where I'll take a deep dive into the four big reasons you're broke. Three quarters of that list came down to time. We're gonna talk about how to make the most out of that time by turning those one-off clients into repeat business. If you're not a member, join at flashfromacademy.com or download the Flash From Academy app in your app store. Until next time, I will see you in the next video. Oh yeah, don't forget, you know, marry the lens, take the bodies, baby, that's how we do. That's how we're doing all year this year. We're marrying the lenses, we're dating the bodies. All right, see y'all in the next video.